Hey Scorpio, welcome to Healing Guys for All. This is going to be a November 2020 love reading. Okay, let's see what we have going on for Scorpio. Sorry, I'm in the right direction. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. That sort of goes with that one there. Okay. Let's see. Uh oh. Oh boy. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the bottom of the deck. Oh, we have someone being sneaky, someone spying on you, someone's watching. Yeah, or you're watching someone, or you're both doing it. Let's see now. But right now, let's start with this. So, you're keeping guard of something. I just feel like. Okay, I'm getting for some of you that you're guarding your heart right here. But you do have the Nine of Cups crossed. You your wishes come true. And you do have an offer coming in. And it's a substantial offer, too. It might be for a new job, um, new business, new project. Um, could be a love offer, too. But it is your wish fulfillment here. And it was... I think there was um, other people up for this promotion or this job or whatever it was. And you beat out the the rest you're above them and then we have this is in the recent past so you just got this this just came through now or is about to because this is a november reading um but so this is the recent past that you had a you're in competition for this whatever this is this job this position um projects or um if you're bidding on jobs um and also we have here now the what's crowning here is a Two of Cups, so it's is it could be a partnership. It could be a partnership in the business thing, but you know we're trying to do a love reading here. But it's also could be a, you know that it's a business and it's a love reading, and then we have the devil here. So we'll have to clarify this is something someone addicted, something um, codependent. We'll see where this falls in here, and then we also get that you're getting recognition here. And that you worked really hard at, and people know that you worked hard. How other people see you as a real hard worker, and so what's coming in your hopes and your dreams is that you're going to be financially stable. If you're not already, you will be. And there's also a King of Pentacles that could be you, or that could be someone coming into your life. That's the outcome here. That someone with um that is well off, that's doing very well, very stable, very um financially stable, and um someone that's grounded, um someone you could depend on. So, but do we do have a lot of pentacles in this reading? Okay, Scorpio, why do we, let's see, why do we have all this, but, um, so we're gonna, and then someone was sneaky. I think someone tried to get away with something, but I don't think they did. I think they got caught. I think whatever, this is only for some of you, but whoever you were in competition with, they did something sneaky, and I could feel that they did something to try to win and for you to look bad, and that did not work. Hey, Mercury's retrograde. Truth comes out. So, but you're you're standing and you're holding your own here with this um, nine of wands. So you got two nines right here, two to completion. So you did what you had to do, and you stood your ground, and you did get your nine of cups. So let's see. Let's get some more clarification though on this nine of wands, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, four of wands. You're going to get your wish fulfillment here for sure. It's going to be a happy a life, a marriage, um, engagement, uh, living together, some, something. This is going to bring you whatever happened here with that you were protecting. It's brought you your wish fulfillment. Okay, now let's see why we got the nine of cups here for Scorpio. Ah, coming in. Someone's coming in quickly. News is coming in or something's coming in about this, um, whatever this is, this wish fulfillment. It's coming in. It also could be a cancer sign. And this Capricorn. Okay, and why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here, please?
Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, because you put a lot of effort into something. And you worked very hard. And that's why this Ace of Pentacles. Like, Eric, they show you working. But here you actually, you know, you did the work. You did what you're supposed to do. And so you're getting the Ace of Pentacles. And maybe this, by doing this, all this work and bringing all this money and abundance in, is bringing in your new love here. Okay, and so why is the Seven of Wands here for Scorpio, please? Why is the Seven of Wands here for Scorpio? Three of Wands. Yeah, because this is something that you've been hoping for. You work for it. You've been waiting for your ships to come in. That is something that um, you've been expecting this. You knew you had it. Even the sneaky guy over here, it doesn't matter. You knew you had it. You worked very hard at it. You deserved it. That guy, or girl, or whoever it was, did not work hard. They were just trying to take it away from you. And then they didn't get it. Of course, it could be a person, but I don't see it as a person. I see it as a job, a position, a, um, something that you bid on or um, you you put in for, um, you apply to something. Okay, two of cups. The tower. Okay, this is going to come in quickly. This relationship, there's going to be a drastic change somehow. Maybe it's at work. And that's where the new person comes in or you leave and all this comes in because you left one position for another. And when you, and when that happens quickly, or if you just decide that you're telling people at work that you're done, um, then this new love's going to come in. Or it's a partnership. Uh, but it's some, some, site, some sort of partnership, whether it's love or if it's business partnership. But we are trying to do a love reading here. Let's see. Why is the devil here? Because of passion. There's something that you're very passionate about that was keeping you stuck or that is going to keep you stuck. You have to be a little careful um, in the very near future of what you're passionate about. Um, pay attention. If I'm getting for some, if you go out to a bar or something, be real careful. Don't overindulge. Um, or whatever you're doing, just um, be mindful. Okay, and why do we have the Three of Pentacles here? Yes, because this person, this Queen of Swords, was watch is watching you. They they see how much work you do, and they're recognizing you for your worth. You're finally getting recognition. This is a person who is seeing you and telling others about you. I'll put it this way: they're looking right at you. And they're saying, yes, that Scorpio over there, yep, that's a hard worker. They deserve the promotion. They deserve the job. They deserve whatever it is that you're getting. They work really hard. I've been watching them. Okay. Yes, six of wands. So let's see your hard work. Everybody sees it. And they're going to see you in the spotlight. They're going to see you getting your accolades, your recognition. You are definitely... Um, you're in the spotlight. And that's from all the hard work you put in. And the Nine of Pentacles for your hopes and fears. Let's see. Three of Cups. Yeah, you can celebrate. You can celebrate all this money come in because if this job, whatever this is, comes with a lot more money, you're going to be financially all set. Whatever this comes in, you're going to be raking in the bucks. Definitely a lot more money. And for the King of Pentacles for outcome, why is the King of Pentacles for outcome for Scorpio? Why is the King of, King of Pentacles for outcome for Scorpio? Page of Cups. Someone's bringing in this news. It um might be a younger person bringing it in. Um, and also um this. I need another card on this, I think. But it's also like love, too. So the you're going to be making good money, and you're also going to have someone come in 
um, in the near future and offer you their cup. Yes, and you're going to work together. Again, with the, the three of pinnacles, you're going to be working together. You make a great team. It's going to be teamwork, and it's um, it's a good relationship. Okay, and the bottom we have, the deck, we have Ace of Wands. So there's something very passionate coming in, some new beginning. It'll be very good for you. Okay, now, let's throw some of these cards on. What else do we have for Scorpio, please? Oop. What else is going on with Scorpio? This could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Someone that is doing very well. Or it could be you. It could be your energy. And the Page of Cups could be um, Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces. And then these uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, what else do we have? This is Cancer. <clears throat> Mute. Okay, someone's not talking. <clears throat> someone's real quiet about something. So we, have, we have compromise. Okay, so you're going to have to compromise that. I think with that, that you're going to work together, whatever this, whoever this person is. And we have pride and ego. Don't let the pride and ego get in the way. Devotion. So they're definitely someone's devoted to this relationship, but someone's pride and ego is in the way a little bit. So you got to compromise. Okay, what else do we have for Scorpio? There's gonna be a fresh start. You know, purge all the old stuff that doesn't work and no longer is good for you. For once we start this new beginning. And there's going to be a conclusion. So there's an ending to something. And um, <clears throat> they can hear about it soon. And there's going to be forgiveness. Once you purge and you get the fresh start and everything, get the ego out of the way, there's going to be forgiveness. And there's lessons being learned. This is a, a spiritual journey that you're on. <clears throat> okay, let's get some romance angel on here. Feels more like a business thing, but maybe <clears throat> you have to go through this new start in order to find this club but we do have the ace of oh i said ace of wands before ace of swords and this is very uh, um getting i think you're getting downloads someone's um getting information okay what else do we have for scorpio please what do we have for scorpio trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. So have faith in whatever's going on here because it is going to work out. Definitely going to work out for you guys. And we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you're having a little difficulty with this relationship because of whatever you're, you must be believing in different have different faiths believing differently playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to a fun to shine and I think you meet this person at this new position. Okay, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Very nice. And then we have, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So you do need help. Ask for it and take it. Okay. What else do we have for Scorpio here? What else do we have for Scorpio? Truth and integrity. Yeah, so speak the truth. Hold, hold yourself in high regard. And new, there are going to be new beginnings. Just like I have fresh start, new beginnings. And of course, we have Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. That's new beginnings, too. And we have 
healing. Your healing. One more, please. The Scorpio. And nature. So go out in nature. You need to heal by going out in nature. And Archangel Michael is around you. Archangel Michael is helping you. Archangel Michael is the angel of protection. He's also the mechanic. So if you need a mechanic and you have a problem with your car, call on Archangel Michael. He will help you. And he will always protect you. So when, when you're going through this, if you didn't go through since the November rain, it could be happening right now this past. Just ask, ask Archangel Michael to surround you and protect you. And that will help a lot. Okay, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.